From guys like Nolan Ryan, Roger Clemens, Josh Beckett. And now it's the latest in line from Tomball, a youngster hitting 98 with a cool Twitter handle, the Wizard of Boz. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our Royals franchise. In this episode, we're going to go over our double A guys, most particularly Shane Baz. We are going to start pitching with him. We're going to show you how good he is. And he's an A potential overall, 63 overall. But right now, the reason he is not in AAA is because we just got him from a trade and we haven't had the opportunity to play with our pitchers. So if you watched the last episode, about triple a you'll know how good of starting pitchers we have up there so we're wanting to keep him down in double a right now so that he can kind of get his filling and kind of get some innings pitched stuff like that get on a good roll with era before we bring him up to triple a but i wanted to show you kind of the whole team down in double a this is our uh, northwest arkansas naturals they're double a from northwest arkansas and they've got a few players that you know we'll, we'll look at there's a few i mean most of the players probably won't ever make it to the majors but mini mickey moniac is one of them kyler murray probably won't ever make it uh kevin gutierrez could possibly make it evan white and khalil lee are probably our two big hitters out of double a that i want to see in triple a before the end of the year you also notice salvador perez down there and he's just down there because if we don't play him somewhere, he will lose overall and he will lose um, some of his stats. As you can already see, he's kind of been losing stats. So since we don't want to bring him up to the majors because he's injured all year, so we put him down double A, so at least he's getting getting hits and stuff like that. This pitching is going to be Shane Baz, and we're going to kind of hear from a few of his old coaches from high school at the end of this episode. So make sure you stick around and you'll listen to that. Future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. The California-born right-hander is on the mound. If you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. Khalil Lee looking to go deep, not going to hit it that deep. Traffic off the so out, Kalili still struggling in double A. Looking at both lineups, they're both hot right now, and they can both swing the bats. We probably got a slugfest on our hands. What pitcher's gonna make? So Gutierrez hitting 281. He might be a guy that comes up to triple A soon, but we'll have to see how he plays in this game. Starting out, he's gonna hit a single over first base on a high fastball, so a hit for Gutierrez to start out the game. Shane Bass, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. And a swing and a miss as so one strikeout on a curve inning inside, inning the first missed, inning coming out strike. in the bottom of the second. Going to get another pitch. strike with the cutter. On it to hit as you will hear later, he loves his cutter, so it's a pitch he wants to use all the time. He gets him with the slider for a strikeout. One and two is the count. Two strikeouts on the day. Number three there. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it two now you know maddie i'm not surprised by that pitch raise the eye level one and two gonna get him to swing over it right here. catcher and drops it so gonna have to throw to first four first strike out but still gets the strike out nonetheless now the pitch. slider the for another strike out so slider strike looks like what he's under putting under people away as inning. fifth Bass strike out two. of the game for Baz. he's looking very good here Cutter inside, a beautiful pitch on the inside corner for a strikeout, number six. Number seven is the slider. We're already in the fifth inning. Gutierrez up again. Let's see how well he could do here. He's one for two in the ball game. 
And he'll start the inning with a pitch that miff on it because that was right in a wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get it. Gutierrez going to make a good swing on the ball. Looks like that's going to hit the gap. Can he go for three? Here he goes for third. And he's safe at third base. He ends up scoring a run in the game. So we are up one to zero. Baz out in the sixth inning trying to shut down that offense. He does here with the cutter on the inside. One and two count, bottom of the seventh, a slider right down the middle of the plate. Not sure why he didn't swing at that, but Baz will take that strike out. Very little traffic on the bases so far. Another curveball strikeout. Huge strikeout day for Baz, but he is not done. Back in the bottom of the eighth, trying to add to it. And he adds his 11th strikeout on a ball way out of the zone. Another strikeout. That's number 12. Bottom of the ninth. One out. Guy on first. And a double play he's able to get. He only allowed one hit, and that was in the fifth inning. So he almost gets the no-hitter, gives up one hit. But we didn't do very well ourselves. One run on eight hits. Springfield, zero runs on one hit. One walk, and that was in the ninth inning. And then those 12 strikeouts are huge. So let's go ahead and hear from Shane himself, how he thinks he's doing. And we'll hear from a few of his coaches in high school to see what Shane is all about. My go-to pitch, besides my fastball, has got to be my cutter. I think the sky's the limit for him. I certainly think that he, he's going to play in the big leagues. Oh, man. Uh, Shane, is a, he's, he's a special talent. I think I've done a good job of uh, kind of keeping it out of my head and just going out there and having fun. I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. Please let me know what you guys think of how these episodes are going, whether you like the new direction of how we are taking with these episodes, or if you just like the old direction of me commentating the game. Until next time, slacker out.